Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a theme for Windows XP that makes it look a little bit more modern. It kind of gives it a Windows 8 or a Windows 10 style look and it's a theme called Metro XP. And I'm going to have this uh, link down below in the video description. It will take you to this DeviantArt page right here, as well as the uh, link to the UX theme multi patcher, which is a tool you're going to have to install to actually get this theme running on Windows XP. And essentially, what it is, is as I said, and as you can see from this image here, is it kind of gives Windows XP uh, a more modern look that's uh, a little bit more, you know, comparable to Windows 8 or Windows 10. Obviously, it's not going to. Um, you know, make it look exactly like Windows 8 and, uh, you know, Windows 10. But for, you know, if you're using Windows XP on like an older computer and you want to kind of give it a little bit of a new look, uh, this might be a theme that you want to go ahead and check out. And the person over here on DeviantArt has uh, created four different variations of this theme and he has links to them right here. So we've got Luna, Royal, Zune, and Embedded. So I have downloaded all of these. We're going to be taking a look at all of these in this video. But uh, when you want to actually go in and like actually download the theme, you have to go into one of these links. So if I wanted to download the, the Luna theme, I can't do it from this main page here. There, there's no download link. I have to actually click on the Luna theme here and it will come up with uh, this screen right here which gives you a 7z download right here which you then have to extract and uh, I will basically show you that whole process uh, from within Windows XP so let's go ahead and switch over to that right now so here we are in a brand new freshly installed Windows XP virtual machine and yeah, I'm just going to be going through each of these four themes individually and kind of showing you what they're all about. Now, the reason why we need the UX theme multi patcher is because if we go into any one of these folders, let's just use Metro Zune here as an example, and we go into this folder here and try to install the theme by actually uh, clicking on this uh, visual style here, you have to double click on it to open it. Uh, it will come up and it just looks like the regular Windows XP theme like the regular Windows XP Luna theme so by default Microsoft does not allow you to install these third-party themes but using the UX theme patcher we can get around that so what you have to do is again I'm gonna have this link down below and we're just gonna go ahead and double click on the UX theme multi patcher and this is there are a ton of different programs uh, you know developed by different people that kind of do the same thing this one is uh, created by Windows X live and it just tells you basically what it's going to do here uh, it says, you know, this program will apply memory patching to your theme engine using Raphael's UX style so you can use any third party visual style. It gives you a list of the OS uh, versions that it supports and it, you know, has identified ours as uh, XP Service Pack 3 32 bit. And down here, we're going to uncheck Set Windows X Live as the default home page because we don't really need that. And it also gives you, if you're on 8, 8.1, or, or 10, it gives you the option to use aero glass transparency so we're going to go ahead and just uncheck both of those and click on patch and it's now going to uh, apply those patches to the ux theme engine it, it doesn't take that long it'll be done in a few minutes and you don't even have to restart your computer and there we go so it says finished ux theme multi patcher has successfully applied memory patching to the theme engine now you can use third-party visual style so great we'll go ahead and click on ok and now when we go into the Metro Zoom theme, you'll see that it looks a little bit different because now when it comes up, it actually looks like the theme that you're going to apply. So let's see how many uh, color schemes. So we only have one color scheme here. And uh, now it basically added a new uh, visual style into the windows and buttons. So we've got Windows Classic, Windows XP, and then Metro Zoom. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, have that selected, click on apply. And there we go. So it's now going to apply that theme. So basically what it looks like is it kind of makes everything look a lot more flat i mean this is the same color scheme as the zoom theme it's orange and uh, black but you can see that the start button here is more square when we open everything up here it's more flat uh, it's not you know popping out at you like the luna theme kind of does um, the window borders and you know the window controls over here look a lot more flat uh, it does keep the same icons it doesn't really change any of the icons so they still look pretty much exactly the same as they did with the Luna theme, but uh, it just gives it that nice flat look, which I'm sure a lot of people that are used to Windows 8 or uh, Windows 10 and like the you know visual style, uh, you know, like that more 2D flat style theme, uh, this theme kind of you know delivers that for you. I don't know how many people are still using XP as their main OS, but if you are, or if you're using XP as like on, on a secondary computer that you use on occasion and you want it to 
you know, kind of uh, look more to your preference, this theme could definitely be something that you would want to use. So, but this is just one of them right here. This is only the Metro Zoom theme. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, the Metro Royal theme. So we're going to go ahead and go in here, uh, go ahead and uh, apply this theme as well. And so this one, I believe, with the wallpaper here, um, this is the theme from uh, XP Media Center Edition, um, which XP Media Center Edition had that special theme that was only available on XP Media Center Edition. So this is kind of modifying that theme. So it, yeah, definitely, you know, the start menu looks just like a flat version of uh, the royal theme in XP Media Center Edition. And again, you know, it doesn't change the icons or anything like that. But as I said with the Zoom theme, if you're using XP Media Center Edition and you want it to look more flat, this could definitely be something that you want to use. And we got two more here. We'll save the uh, the Luna one for last. Let's go ahead and look at Metro Embedded. So this I can only assume is going to look like uh, XP POS Ready 2009. And it definitely has, yep, it's got that same wallpaper. So let's go ahead and uh, launch this one here. Got to go ahead and close out of that first. Go ahead and launch uh, Metro Embedded. So there we go here. So this one is, is probably going to be some very minor differences. I mean, basically what they're doing between each of these themes is just pretty much changing the color palette. The like the flatness of the theme is still there. They pretty much look identical except for the color palette that uh, does change. So now we have some XP POS ready colors. Um, and last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at the plain uh, Metro Luna theme, which actually looks like that it comes with the three different color schemes that the, that the regular Luna theme has. So just to show you what I mean, we go to the Windows XP style, we've got the uh, default blue, and when it applies here, we've got, we also have the olive green and the silver. So this is basically going to do that, let me go ahead and close out of this, this is basically going to uh, to you know, do that and allow you to change between default blue, olive green, and uh, silver as well. So let's go ahead and wait for olive green to show up here. So there we've got olive green, and let, let's uh, apply the silver theme. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to apply here. And yeah, I mean, it's a very minimal theme. Is it? I mean, like I said, if you use XP and, and you're just used to this more minimal design, this could be something that you would really want to go ahead and check out. But yeah, it's, it's very simple. I mean, that's really all there is to say about this. It's a flat, modern 2D uh, modification to the classic Windows XP themes that we've all uh, used. I mean, if you've ever used XP, you've used the you know Luna theme, you know how it looks. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't like the Luna theme. They much prefer something like the watercolor theme from Windows Whistler. And this kind of looks like that as well. This definitely has like that watercolor um, theme-esque to it, you know, like it just is, it is more flat because the watercolor theme was, of course, one that was more 2D, that was flat, and, you know, this definitely, I can see, takes inspiration from that. Uh, but there you have it. That is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Just, again, a quick look at uh, modern XP, or sorry, Metro XP, which is uh, just a flat 2D look to the classic uh, Windows XP Luna themes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed and uh, turn on notifications down below if you haven't already to see more videos like this in the near future. And also be sure to drop me a comment letting me know your thoughts on this theme. Is this something that you would use? Do you much prefer the Luna theme or even the uh, watercolor theme? Uh, or is this something that you would, you know, stay away of? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.